So I noticed that in the past couple of years, you've really stepped up your charitable giving. Was there an impetus, a reason why you decided that now you were going to become a lot more involved in philanthropy? Well, you see, uh, in the last couple of years, I think uh, I've seen the likes of uh, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, you know, giving quite a lot to charity. And I think uh, that actually inspired me quite a lot by thinking that maybe I should be giving more, more than what I've been giving before. Are there other people in Africa, or do you feel like you're kind of setting the, setting the way, setting an example for people? There are a few people that are doing uh, charitable work, philanthropic uh, work in Africa, but it's, you know it's something new. Uh, not only that, it's something new. People who are used to giving, not announcing what they've given, you know, a very silent uh, activity. But right now I think uh, it is also part of corporate social responsibility for companies that are out there making money to be given back to the society, you know, and I think uh, we expect, I mean, uh, my own foundation I think we are going to more than, you know, go more than five folds of what we've been given before. And is that a percent of well, it's not a question of a percentage, you know, I mean, for example, every year, you know, which I'm mandatory to give, I give about two and a half percent of not how much I made of my total wealth. So, but that's different. It's not charity, it's a religious something that I need to conform with, which is about two and a half percent of my wealth. I do also other philanthropic uh, activities, you know, uh, poverty, in terms of poverty, in terms of education, uh, health, and uh, also environment. I know you've been very diverse in your giving, but if you had to just decide on one thing to give it all away to tomorrow, where would you give it? I think poverty. Poverty. Poverty, yes. You know, it's one of the areas that I think uh, is badly... Uh, you know, that has actually impacted, you know, a lot of people in Africa. And, uh, you know, even though our area of focus is not only Africa, but 70% is in Africa. And uh, poverty is very high over there. Are you doing anything differently in terms of poverty or any of your charitable giving than the status quo? Are, are you looking for new ways? Well, there are a couple of ways that we're doing uh, now in terms of fighting poverty. You know, um, we have a program which is for women, and this one we give them uh, money, you know, which is free. I mean, it's like about $100, uh, dollars, you know, for them to go and start their small businesses. And that one we did in one state called Kano, where I was born. And we gave uh, about uh, almost, uh, you know, 60,000, 44,000 uh, women and then 16,000 uh, men, you know. And uh, that really impacted very significantly. So if you had to tell me uh, one amazing story that broke your heart, something that you just felt really great about, is there a personal story in terms of giving? Well, in terms of uh, a story, um, I won't have uh, much story on my side, you know, because actually um, I came from a rich home, even though, you know, I didn't use my family's wealth to be where I am today. Uh, but I've seen quite a lot of people where they actually don't have drinking water at all, not out of their choice, and uh, they really want to go to school, they don't have money. And there was a time I think they were looking for us to donate some money, which eventually I did. I gave them about just uh, 500, uh, I think it was about, no, about $500,000. And part of the money, they took some bit of it. I think just not more than, I think they took about just uh, $200, gave to one of the ladies. And she was using that one to sell some little food on the street. And uh, after about two years, she came and she told us her story that she had about five children that she couldn't send to school. And now with that small capital, she's been able to sell, I mean, to send all of them to school. She's been able to, you know, take care of herself and her husband. So really that touched my heart. And I believe that uh, doing something like this, you know, will really, really be good.